Hey guys, one of my favorite tools that I have for watercoloring is my ceramic dish. You can kind of see here in this pink um, how well the paint sits in the dish. That's because the way that the paint sits on the ceramic, uh, it allows it to pool like this. Versus, I have these Prima Marketing palettes and uh, they're metal tins. They're getting better because I've used them a bit. so. Uh, they don't do it as much, but they kind of have this beading thing that happens. So if you see here, it's like that. This one I've used a bit more, so it has um, worn down a little bit. But I want to try speeding it up, and I want to get it to act more like this ceramic dish. So see how there's a lot of beading here? Especially this part here, it beads a lot. It can't tell as much when it's dried, but um, when I wet it, You'll notice that it, it beads a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try with a little bit of toothpaste and just a little bit of scrubbing action. I'm going to see if I can get it to act more like a ceramic, a ceramic dish. So I'm just starting by wetting all of my wells because I'm going to actually clean this out. I normally don't clean it out. So I just wanted you guys to see what the before looks like and then we will treat it and see if the after is any different. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit of toothpaste. I don't even know how much I really need. Toothbrush. Just got this from my dentist. And here I have a tiny bit of my water. So what I've read is that what you really want is to just make the metal, you want it to kind of develop some ridges in it and I think that's well, it's very smooth right now. That's why the the paint kind of beads up on it. I'm gonna actually try and focus on the edges because that's where I usually don't use the pan, so it's less worn down in those areas. So you saw that was about 30 seconds. As an added bonus, my palette now smells minty fresh. I'm gonna use my my Prima paints because they're a little bit cheaper so I don't mind wasting them. Oh yeah, look at the difference between that and this. And this palette that I, I'm just, I just used right now was a lot newer. Yeah, that works significantly better because one of the things I found I had a hard time with was uh, mixing colors. Because it beat it up, I couldn't quite tell what my color was and it also had a hard time mixing. I can actually see my green. So I'm gonna try doing it on the other side too. I've used these uh, wells a bit so they weren't beating as badly as um, as this part here. So I also want to make sure I do this part here. You know what, I'm doing maybe maybe 20 seconds per kind of like area. A little bit of water. I'm gonna wipe this up. I can already tell, see here, when I have, you can't really see it, but with the drops of the water, I can tell that they're not beating as much. Now, let's try it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's n still not perfect. You can see when I do it, it kind of shrinks a little bit and kind of goes back, but it's way better than it was. And I'm actually going to try it on the inside of the, the palette as well because I've really not used this at all. So let's just start by doing this to kind of give you an example. So let's say you wanted to, let's say you wanted to mix a green and you have yellow here and some blue. It was hard to really get a gauge of what the color was because it beads together, so it's hard to uh, to mix your colors. So I'm gonna fast forward and I'm gonna do that same thing for the rest of the, um, the wells in this one and in my uh, Prima palette. And I will, uh, I will show you when it's done. I'm back. I, uh, I just dried off the palettes. I got, also got some clean water because uh, there was some soap or there was some toothpaste in that water. So I just didn't want to put that into my paints. Um, but let's do a final, a final test and see how it worked. Let's try this out. Hmm. So this side didn't work quite as well. But yeah, it works. It works if I have a bit more water. But it seems like it didn't. It didn't work quite as well on this one. Uh, let me try here in these wells here. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely uh, improved, but it's still not perfect. Uh, that's this one. The other ones seem to have work better. And I don't know if I did anything different. My final thoughts are, it definitely did help 
the palettes to become closer to a ceramic dish but it's still not quite as good but you know what for a metal palette $25 that is pretty good uh, I think that it, this makes these Prima tins, it makes them a lot more functional if you can take the time to uh, scrub them down. Uh, the other ways I've heard people do it is with um, sandpaper. I've also heard people using a magic eraser. If you guys have tried it with the magic eraser or sandpaper, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are.